Welcome back to another unboxing swatch. Today we'll be looking at the Karen Dosh watercolor pencil set of 12 Museum Aquarelle. So the first thing that caught my eye was that for a set of 12 pencils, this is quite a large box. Um, this is how the lid comes on. Uh, so not only is it a large box, but I mean, there's something in there. I haven't opened it yet uh, that is keeping it um, up high. So it's not like this will compress more. Uh, on the back, there's a lot of information. You have the pencil anatomy, which will kind of tell you, you know, all the different parts there and how to read, you know, the color numbers and whatnot. It also looks like there's some sort of timeline here of, I guess, the evolution of their pencil. And uh, this is the Museum Aquarelle. So these are uh, considered extra fine quality. Um, and I imagine that these are something that should be pretty special. But Let's put them to the test. First, let's open it up and see what you get. These are made in Switzerland. As you can see, they're Swiss made. And there is a very uh, nice piece of foam. It almost feels like I'm unboxing a expensive electronic um, device. <clears throat> Some paperwork that comes in there that shows you different sets that they have. And then the pencils themselves, which are presented quite taut in this uh, in this foam. Uh, the pencils look pretty large. These are uh, not a traditional size pencil, so this is probably a thicker uh, three plus millimeter lead. And you can see that the pencils uh, have the names in, um, well, I guess that's uh, Swiss probably, but it could be French uh, and English. And then you have the pencil numbers on it and all the information on there. Uh, and so what we're going to do is lay down these colors dry first. I'm going to put them down uh, using kind of a, a heavier hand, then sort of lighten up to half that pressure. We're going to look at them dry, and then we're going to go ahead once they're all laid down dry and add water to see how that changes them. Uh, and I'm really curious to see how these perform. These are uh, considered museum quality, and you know when you think museum, you think super high end, something that will last a long time. And we'll uh, take a look at how they perform. Okay, so I've laid down my colors. I will say that they went down very smoothly. The lead is very substantial. It has a very good stiffness to it. It felt uh, at no point like it was gonna break regardless of the pressure I put down, but it still didn't feel like scratchy. It still kind of glided on the paper very nicely. And it also had very little crumbs that would come up from a pencil that would be that kind of resilient that you'd think it might kind of break a little bit and they really stay together nicely so now uh, here's the real test we're going to put some water on them and see uh, what they do for the water portion i'll be using our mimic kalinsky round size six these are a super high-end synthetic kalinsky brush using the latest technology they're one of my personal favorite brushes highly recommend them but let's see how they do with these beautiful watercolor pencils Okay, so I just added the water. If I could sum up these pencils in one word, that word would have to be superior. They're superior in every way that I could have possibly expected. The colors laid down superiorly to other colored pencils. They wet and, and basically melted onto the paper, the, the pencil. It looks like these came right from a wet tube of paint. 
Uh, the colors are superiorly vibrant and really intense, and I am super, super impressed. And uh, I would highly recommend that if you're in the market for a super high-end pencil, these museum set of Aquarell 12 are the way to go because I have really just enjoyed doing this little swatch. I'm really looking forward to playing with these on a larger scale later. If this video was helpful for you, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel to see future Unbox and Swatch videos, and we'll see you on our next Unbox and Swatch.